I have learned, if I haven't learned anything else, in order to get where God wants you to be, sometimes you have to press. That's right. And, and, and if there are weak Christians all over the place, I don't mind saying there are weak Christians. Oh, yeah. If there are Christians that won't press, they just want it easy. But I have learned that you will do what, whatever it is you really want from yeah. God. I'm talking about those that really want something. Oh, yeah. You've got to be willing to press your way through. All right. All right. And, and, and we're just going to press. Amen. All right. We're going to press to the honorable pastor of this great church. Would y'all help me bless the Lord for here and the love of this great church? Let me give you the story. 
you, you read the rest of the second chapter into the third chapter, you get the rest of it. I'm just not going to read all that because I got some Bible study readers here. I got some old who know the word, so you can check my yes, you can check my my points. You can click and put a check mark about all the things that are, are correct relative to the word by just going back and reading it. If I say something and you scratch your head, get the book and you can verify. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. You see, you see, Moses, Moses, Moses was on the side. He was actually by his mama because he was good looking and a good child and ready to become something God like ordained. But Moses was born, the Pharaoh was crazy. Wow. Yeah. At that time, he was declaring that everything because they were trying to stop the Jewish population from growing, they were killing every male child. But he came out of the womb. And, and you gotta remember that when that prophet spoke his mama because she was concerned about him here, and, and Pharaoh's daughter found him, and he was raised in Pharaoh's house. Do I have any Bible? You know that, right? And Moses grew up, and they got grown. At this particular point, Moses is conflicted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moses has to decide, watch this, whether or not he's going to be an Egyptian, yeah. or whether he's going to be a Jewish man. Sometimes when you get saved, you can be conflicted. Yeah. And you can hear it. Sometimes you get a clean and betwixt, and you know that you're saved, but your old self keeps on pulling at you. Yeah. And you know what I'm talking about? You try to do right with that other old stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. James will tell you, don't mind the man. You can't be both. You can't serve God and serve the Lord. <laughs> Moses is deep in his mind. I don't need to announce that. And he chose to serve God. But this is where it gets a little sticky. He, he, he chooses God and he looks out All right. and sees his brethren going through the storm. Come on. And no doubt, Moses suffered from what I call massive sympathy, indignation, frustration at seeing his people going through the storm and the rain, and he wants to act. Yeah. Now, Mama done raised Moses a little bit at a time. Those of you all know the book, know that Mama got in the house and he was called to raise her own son. Even though he was Pharaoh's son, he was still Mama's child. And no doubt, Mama told her, boy, you're going to be the salvation for your people. Yeah. It was in his heart, it was in his mind, and he heard, he believed, he heard God said, I'm going to be the salvation, I'm going to do it. So he understood what, what, what the situation was, but more than because of something else on the inside. Uh -huh. He wrestled with something, he wanted to act, he wrestled with something, but I, I tell you what, he suffered with what I call natural impetuosity. All right. Yeah. He, he was what Moses, rather than Paul, called in Romans 10, too. He had zeal without knowledge. All right. All right, God. See, see, Moses wanted to act. Yeah. But he wanted to act on his own. And he wasn't quite sure that it really didn't matter whether or not it was him or God. He just wanted to act. He, he, he was acting on the impulse, and not on the impulse, but not on the revelation. I know some folks like that. All right. They believe God called and then they go ahead and get out there before they confirm. Who God said? Can I get a witness? <laughs> remember, 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 what are you saying? Remember, what, what we gotta do? What we gotta do? How do we do? Well, when Moses missed it, well, y'all know Moses missed it because when Moses decides to jump out there and act, he goes out there and he finds one of his brothers being beat down by one of the, 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 the Egyptians and he messed around and he killed the man and he hid him in the sand. He walks out and he kisses a couple of his brothers arguing with each other and he wants to tell them, brother, don't y'all argue. I'm the king, I'm the salvation, I'm the one that's running stuff. Y'all chill out. Now they say, wait a minute, oh boy. Who do you think you need? That's what I said, talking for the How dare you? Yeah. Try to school us. What you mean? 